Overnights, and welcome to the Nightly News. Today is Monday, March 24th, 2014, and today is an A-Day. What, what? <laughs> Please stand for your Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Good morning, I'm Rohit. And I'm Rishi. Today for your dining pleasure at the Cafe de la Frise, you will enjoy cheesesteak dipper bar, buffalo chicken tenders with fried rice and roll, spaghetti with meat sauce and garlic roll, steamed peas, baby carrots, mandarin oranges, and seasonal fresh fruit. And now for your announcements. On this day in 1874, Harry Houdini, magician, escape artist, and escape artist was born. One of the most famous magicians and stunt performers of all time, Houdini was born in Hungary of a Jewish descendant. His name at birth was Erich Eric Wiss, Wiss. Houdini became a professional magician at age 17 using the name Houdini as a tribute to a French magician named Jean Eugene Robert Houdini. Attention, all you reading all-stars. How are you coming on your on your four books for the month? Join us in getting a free ticket to attend the Kannapolis Intimidators ball game on May 2nd. We hope to see you there. Mr. LaRoche's homeroom is still in the lead for free cookies with 77 points. Miss Larkin and Mrs. Cliff are vibing for second place with only one point separating them with 605 to 604. That's some real March Madness. Congratulations to Malia Eaton, Paloma Lloyd, and Emma Bateski for a fifth place finish at the Quill cool Competition on Saturday. Great job! Please stand by for Dr. Khan's announcements and words of wisdom. Good morning, Noble Knights. Official school time is 9.09. .09. Keep in mind that our fundraiser um, packets are due this week. I'm curious to see how many people will be playing dodgeball with me and who's going after the iPad mini or the shopping card for Concord Mills. Today's words of wisdom align with the learner profile trait of being principled. Everybody wants to have nice things. We want nice clothes, cars, homes. We want to go to nice restaurants and take fun vacations. These are things many Americans want. For some, it's the American dream. Now listen to this old Hebrew proverb. Wisdom is better than rubies, and all things that may be desired are not to be compared with it. In other words, having all the material things in the world is not worth as much as having the wisdom to tell right from wrong or the wisdom to make smart choices. Today, as you're chasing after the American dream, remember this. Gaining a little wisdom along the way will not only enrich your life, but help you realize your dreams. With something to think about, this is Dr. Khan. Make it a great day or not. The choice is yours.